We're talking about your new film Arya Par. What is it all about? Well, Arya Par is a strange mystery story. It's a mystery thriller. Uh, it's a story about a crime of passion. It's a story about uh, the existential uh, reasons behind crime. It's a psychological thriller in a sense. And that's why it's great fun. And it, uh, I have been wanting to do a mystery story for a very, very long time. The advantage of a mystery story is that you get to play with cinematic elements much more, with lighting and with camera movements and with uh, the dark side of the human mind. Uh, and these are the fascinating uh, aspects of human beings that uh, excite me. So uh, suddenly got an opportunity to do a mystery story and that's how Arya Bar materialized suddenly. Was there any takeoff point for Arya Bar? What yeah. inspired you? Well, the takeoff point was that Jackie and I had been wanting to do a film for a very long time. And uh, suddenly this story uh, came to me and uh, I said, Jackie, let's do this. And if I will do this if you want to do it within a schedule. And he picked up the bait and we just started off doing the film. This is the film which is, as far as I'm concerned, fa started the fastest. From the conception stage to the moment we uh, went into the shooting, it all happened within a period of one month. So it was uh, an exciting way of beginning of filming. You know, earlier with Po oh Darling or with Sardar or with Maya Mitsab, you've never really tried and gone out to reach the, you know, what they call the lowest common denominator. Hmm. Is this an attempt of that sort? <laughs> no, I uh, basically do a film that I believe in, that I'm going to enjoy making. Uh, and Arya Bar is certainly a film that I've enjoyed making. And I think it will reach out to a large enough audience, yes. Tell me about the performances in the film. Yeah, one of the major strengths of the film is uh, are its performances. Uh, I'm certainly very thrilled with Jackie's performance. I think it's one of his best performances of his career. Uh, Deepa Sahi has done a major role in the film, which is uh, very different from the other kind of Deepa Sahi that you've seen. Uh, Rit Ritu Shivpuri is doing a major role, and Paresh Rawal in a very, very different uh, kind of a performance. And the find of the film is uh, Kamal Sidhu. Uh, she was a VJ on uh, Star TV, and I saw the face, and. Uh, she just seemed perfect for the role that we had in mind. So this is her first film, our debut film, and quite an exceptional performance by her as well. So I think very, very intense, uh, highly charged performances is a basic strength of the film. Apart from a very, very fresh uh, storyline and uh, a great flavor in terms of imagery and visuals. Another strength of the film is Viju Shah's music. Uh, I have, this is the first time that I have worked with Viju Shah in my filmmaking career. And Viju has also been a great discovery in terms of uh, getting to know the man, getting to know his music, the intensity with which he participates and involves himself into the film and the music of, that he's creating. Uh, so on the whole, it has been a great trip, this film. Is it one of those slick, fast-paced kind of, you know, the new Hollywood feel or is it the old, you know, the Hitchcock style with shadows being cast and, you know, slower? No, it is a very, very contemporary thriller. So it is uh, in the, in the thrill, international thriller genre kind of a, a film and that is the excitement of it, you know. Discovering the limits of cinema, that is what this film is about. In the sense of the technical sense? Too? In the technical sense, in terms of the form, uh, in terms of discovering uh, new ways of saying the same thing. And it's uh, quite an exciting. You were telling me about uh, you know the style and the... Yeah, basic to the uh, mystery genre of films is uh, the cinematic elements, the way you visualize the entire uh, suspense, the mood, the way you create the mood. And that's where the cinematography comes to... Uh, uh, to foreground, you know. And the cameraman called Dharam Gulati, also from the Film Institute, has actually captured uh, that 
ominous quality of a mystery genre extremely well and so uh, it is how do you lead the, the audience on to the uh, the path of the mystery genre how do you uh, keep the suspense going in terms of your imagery how do you charge the imagery with uh, a greater amount of tension that is the kind of uh, the the elements that we have been playing with uh, and that has been great fun you know hindi films are usually two and a half hours three hours yeah. would have, would you have uh, felt better making this film in say one hour one and a half hours uh, i don't no because basically if there are songs in the film uh, the length would usually get between 2 and 2 and a half hours otherwise uh, it would not have you uh, know enough time to even run through a story so this film is less than 2 and a half hours yes but it has the the kind of a taut quality of a of a thriller at the same time it has a uh, expanse necessary for the storytelling what made you opt for viju shah for the music i think he is a very talented music director i mean i genuinely believe so uh, and uh, i think he is extremely involved in his work so it was totally a pleasure working with him what kind of music is emerged no it is a very contemporary uh, very popular music uh, and it is a very foot tapping kind of uh, electronic music that is uh, involved in the film and that has helped the basic thrust of the film extremely well and uh, viju's strength is also his background music and for a, a mystery story like this the background music becomes crucial and i am sure that is going to be his strength what do you think will get uh, art in your part in the what will be talked about uh we leave it at the dilemma or ya par let the film be made then completed first and let it be released and let the audience decide whether it is r ya par as far as they are concerned as far as uh, i am concerned it has it's already par i have really enjoyed making the film and i have really enjoyed exploring this new dimension of filmmaking as far as i am concerned the critics felt that oh darling was a sort of a dream like fantasy slightly unreal is arya par very different from that well arya par is very different from whatever i have done so far i mean uh, so far when is still exploring various genres in cinema i think cinema has uh, a lot to explore still left for me uh, this is a direction i had not taken before uh, and uh, that has been the fun of the film it's, it's like inventing a trip for yourself to explore another dimension within you yeah. so uh the mystery stories have been fascinating me for a long time and this was let's say an opportunity created to explore that direction you read a lot of mystery novels watch a lot of mystery movies or what these influences in your mind you know stay well i am a living entity interacting with uh, the rest of the world so i have read, uh, read a lot of mystery stories i've enjoyed a lot of mystery movies uh, there is a dark side to every mind i'm sure there is a dark side to my mind so it was a, a an opportunity to explore that direction as well okay. what projects are you now planning after arya par well there is a historical epic uh, on the 1857 rebellion uh, called kartus and uh, that's a trilogy of films that is being planned in, in collaboration with channel 4 television london so it will be an international co-production in english and hindi made with an international star cast uh, and which has start shooting in october really looking forward to this project i've been working on it for 7 years so it's a uh, it's like a dream coming true have you finalized the star cast or? well initial star cast for uh, the first part of the that's at the trilogy has been uh, finalized sanjay dat and manisha kurala are doing the main roles uh, the british star cast is still being finalized and uh, where does the first part focus on well the first part of the trilogy is uh, about an incident which sparked the entire rebellion it is the story of mangal pandey an ordinary sepoy in the british 
East India Company Army who turned a rebel. As you know, in 1857, the entire subcontinent from Burma to Afghanistan was ruled by one company called East India Company. Uh, and there's a story of this rebellion against this company Raj. So the first part uh, deals with this Mangal Pandey episode or the spark that ignited the entire rebellion. The second part is about this explosion which rocked the entire northern Indian subcontinent. Uh, in a rebellious form and the story of a man called Bakht Khan who on, on the point of his sword forced Bahadur Shah Zafar to become the emperor of uh, India all over again and who was the first governor general of free India in that sense of the term and part three is the story of Lakshmi Bai and General Rose who was sent to conquer her so these are uh, the three parts are the spark the explosion, the embers, the three stages of the rebellion, which actually changed the entire course of events as far as India is concerned. Can you tell me a little bit about this project of your Maya? Where did it start? Uh, I have also been wanting to do a science fiction film for quite some time. And uh, realizing that it is impossible to do it in India unless you develop this new aspect uh, or technology of computer graphics and special effects. Uh, and wanting to do this science fiction film called Manas Man was the starting point for starting Maya the Magic Shop which is a computer graphics special effects facility here started in uh, collaboration with National Film Development Corporation well the project has started uh, it has ex exciting dimensions to it learning I mean computer graphics is going to change the entire way you perceive audiovisual media uh, the way ima we imagine is going to change the definition of creativity as far as cinema and media is concerned. Mm -hmm. And that process is a very fascinating process. It is just opening up the doors of imagination. It's challenging you to be creative all over again. Uh, I mean, it seems to be able to make impossible possible as far as cinema is concerned. Well, I'm very excited about this project. The computer graphics section of the special effects facility has already started. Uh, we also intend to go into animatronics, prosthetics, model making and miniature making. So a comprehensive uh, special effects computer graphics facility uh, which will allow a filmmaker to do whatever he likes. Yeah. Thank you.